Hey, what's going on? Shane with the 5 to 9 Creator. Today I'm going to show you how you can blur or pixelate your background while keeping your foreground in focus. I really like to do this if the background really isn't that important or even if I want to add contrast to what the background is compared to the foreground, which would be my face or some other thing. It's just another way that you can edit your videos in a way that's maybe unique or different or just fun to edit. So the first thing you have to do is take whatever clip you're going to edit and bring it down to the timeline. And then as you can see here, you're going to want to duplicate that clip and place it above. If you're not sure how to duplicate, all you have to do is collect, select the clip hit Alt and hold on your keyboard and then drag it up to the top. So I'm gonna delete that third one because I already have a second one. Now, anytime you are doing anything to the background of your video, you always wanna do it to the top clip so that the top clip becomes a foreground and the bottom uh, clip becomes a background. That's kind of how you want to think of it is the top clip is what you're going to see in front and then the bottom clip is going to see what you see in back. It's sort of creating layers to your clips and the more layers you can create and play with the different things that you can do to your clip without having to modify, you know, just one single clip. So we're going to go ahead and remove the background of this front clip by going to video, scrolling down to the bottom and hitting auto cut. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll bring you back when it's all done. All right, so removing the background is all done. Now what we're going to want to do is come over here to effects and you're going to go to cartoon. So if you scroll down here, again, you can use any of these clips, but for this particular video, we're going to use cartoon and then we're going to go to mosaic. So this is going to create sort of this pixelated look for our background. So you're going to click and hold and bring it down to the bottom clip and you're gonna get this sort of pixelated background. So if I play this clip through, there's a certain level of quality that needs to be maintained, but it's a very easy. So as you can see, my background is all pixelated, but I am in the foreground. So maybe you're in an area where, like, I don't always have the best background. Like sometimes my room is messy or sometimes I just don't have a great, you know, looking kind of YouTube-ish background. So a lot of times I'll just use this to hide it and just bring the focus to the foreground. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you what these layers look like too as well by themselves. So let's go ahead and hide the top layer. And as you can see, my whole video is pixelated, but because I, had a duplicated clip and I had added a layer to that and it wasn't affected by the mosaic effect. Then I turn it back on. Now I have my foreground and then same with the background. So as you can see, this is just the background removed. So that's how you create layers in CapCut and have a different layer as the background, different layer as the foreground. Now we could go through here and, you know, let's say we eliminate this other effect, maybe we just want a black and white. I did a video on that. You could do a black and white foreground. The The options are really endless. So what I encourage you to do is learn how to create these layers of foreground and background, and then play with the different effects that you can put as your background to add cool contrasting parts to your video. Another thing you could do is if you just wanted like the, something on the foreground, you could do something like this. There's a certain level of quality that- So as you can see, it, it it's not necessarily the best looking or like, you know, whatever you might want to call it, but it's only affecting that top layer. So you could also do something like that on just the bottom layer. So let's just put on the bottom layer. Now we got questions marks behind me, but not on my face. There's a certain level of quality that- So there's, again, there's a lot of ways you can add depth and engagement to your videos by having these separate layers. Thanks a ton for watching this video. If this video was interesting to you and it helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything that you're dealing with on CapCut for PC or desktop, whatever you're using, put in the comment section down below because I'm always looking for new ways to help people that are using CapCut because it's still kind of this evolving platform that with every upgrade adds some other things that more traditional video editor platforms have. Um, so I wanna be able to keep you up to date with that and make it easy for you to use. Thanks a ton for watching today's video. I'll see you in a future video.